Hey guys, this is JB3, and we are back with another episode of Project Reject here with Sunderland in FIFA 20, where we will continue to try to build our squad from the players that we discarded in our Youth Edition series with Scunthorpe United. So we are here. The transfer window is open in January. We're going to try and sell a few more players if we can. We only have about $9 million. We have $10 million in transfer budget, but that leaves us no wage budget. So probably right around $9 million. You know, we could bring in a couple fringe players to just fill out our bench, which if we get to the end of the transfer window and that's all we have, then yeah, we'll fill them out with, a, you know, maybe a few million dollars here and there to, to kind of fill it out. We'll also wait and see if Scunthorpe sell any players because if they sell any of our players that we built in the youth academy then we can go in there and try and buy them granted a lot of the better players we won't be able to afford so we'll see how things go with that but we are here we take on southampton who are number one in the league number one on the table they only have one loss so it should be a really tough fight they have an amazing lineup just to name a few they have Vergara our former goalkeeper and they also picked up Carlos Patera in the last transfer window here in the off season so an interesting move for him to go from Champions League and playing pretty regularly not a starter but now he's on the bench behind Piatek a former AC Milan stardom but I mean, that's going to be a star-studded lineup. They also have Amiri to name another player that's on there. I mean, granted, they're, you know, 30 years old. So, I mean, they're they're getting up there in age, but they're not, they're not bad by any means. So, we'll see how that one goes against Southampton. And then we will take on Burnley. We beat them 2-1. to one. That was one of our first games that we played in the season. So, hopefully, we can do that again. Our offense has been clicking. So, we'll see what we can do. We'll have to start, though, by going through Southampton. So we will get into the game here against Southampton. The only change will be Lopez will be our midfielder instead of Valle, but they've been rotating pretty regularly. Okora is back from suspension. Let's see what we can do here against Southampton. And we'll get this one underway. Out wide here to Rinaldi. Tries to bring it back into the middle of Gallo. Going to drive past this man, now holds up, looking for Lopez, gets into the box, takes a good strike. And our former goalkeeper, Vasquez, will deny us. Lopez goes up to Bailey, gets it off to Picorni, right onto Gallo. Gallo lets it go by, drives right into the box, holds up. Can he fight off and gains the ball back after a poor play? Oh, and still couldn't break past Vasquez. Final play, and Sura will knock it away here on the cross. We knock it down, and we'll go into halftime. It was a rough one. I mean, we had so many shots and just couldn't break through. You feel like we should be in a lead, but it's still nil-nil here at halftime. We put pressure on. Piatek rolls it back to Pateri. He takes the strike, and former, or former Scunthorpe player, I should say, hits the side netting. Okora has it out wide here and has some space to get down the field. Trying to come down that wing, driving in Okora. Now can he find something into the middle looking for Lopez who gets ahead to it, but it's a weak one and it'll go right to the keeper. Lopez up to Picorni. Picorni driving up, trying to break through. Gets it off to Lopez. Lopez waits for Gallo to get on sides. He takes a weak shot and it just floats right to the keeper. Bailey on the ball here, trying to push forward. Has Rinaldi out wide and gets it to him. Rinaldi now back into Lopez, quickly to Picorni, runs in. Can he beat Vasquez? He can. 70th minute, we finally break through. And it's Picorni who's really caught fire now. Kind of alternating between him and Gallo, or who, who getting the goals. But Picorni finds this one. It's a great play. We find it wide to Rinaldi, and he just dumps it right back into Lopez. And Lopez... Draws the attention from the center back, drops it off to Picorni, and he finally beats Vasquez on a good shot just out of his reach, and he'll make it 1 0. Patera drives in, tries to break it up. Zarilla heads it out of the box there, goes for Okora. Back in here, Amiri. Couldn't we get in front of it? No! And he'll find the back of the net, and he'll tie it up in the 85th minute. For here for Southampton, we just weren't able to get in front of that one. Thought Zarilla was in a good position too. And Sir couldn't make the save. It just flies out. Or Cora tried to get out there and clear it, couldn't do it. And now it's 1-1. One, one. 
Valet gets it through Visnage. He'll drop it wide here to Bailey. Bailey now trying to find something into the box. Can he find anything? Looking for a pass. Circles the box here. Now out wide. Solomon moves it up to Valet. Valet sneaks it through. It's Gallo. Gallo trying to use his body and get past the player. Oh, hits the post. He, oh, no, he couldn't get the shot off and would have been able to walk it in, but Vasquez will just tip that one away after hitting the sidebar. We'll see if it comes back. No, they won't show the second one. And it'll go for a corner here in the final stages of the game. We'll have a chance here. It's Bailey. He'll move it in. It's Vasquez who punches it away. Can we get the header down? We can. It's back on. It's out wide. Here for Valet. Moves it in. Gallo. Can he get into the box? No. Broken up and it will end a draw. And right there we show we can compete with the best teams in the league. But we weren't able to draw any well, Draw three points would have been nice. They let up a late one, but we dominated the game. Three shots, one on target for Southampton. We had nine and six and just missed it right at the end there. And we'll go 1-1. One, one. So we'll get back into it here against Burnley. We will start Valet in the middle here. See if that can maybe turn the luck a little bit as we had a lot of shots. We just weren't able to break through there. But let's see what we can do here against Burnley. We need need to pick up three points and really start getting up the table here as we get to the middle of January. And we'll get this one underway. Valet slips it through. It's Bailey. He's going to have a chance into the box and he'll find the back of the net. Coming right downhill with a full head of steam. Seven minutes in and Bailey finds the back of the net early for Sunderland. A nice play there, a good pass for Valet. I mean, kind of waiting for anything to get opened up. And Bailey slips behind the defenders as Okora looks like he drew out one of the center backs and created that hole for him. And he'll drive in and put it in the back of the net. While they get around us here, they drive in, middle of the box in. Oh, perfect, into the 90. Just, I think that might have hit off the crossbar and the sidebar and gone into the back of the net. I mean, that might have been picture perfect. If you put a box right there, you couldn't have put it in there any better. And really, nothing Sir is going to do there. It's a good, powerful shot. We'll take a look at it. And that is picture perfect there for Burnley. And they'll level at 1-1. Valet cuts back, gives it off to Gallo. Gallo, right onto Bacorny. Gets around his defender. He'll take a shot. It's deflected away. Valet tried to put it back home and couldn't connect. And Burnley will gain possession. Oh, Solomon takes him down in the box. And what a soft foul. What a soft foul. And now we're going to have a penalty 38th minute that they do not deserve. And we better save this one. We better save this. We're going to go. Oh, no. He hits it off the bar. Might have gone off a sir. We guessed right. Had it saved. But he's going to put it home anyway. And now it's going to be 2-1. to one. Off of two just unbelievable goals here from Burnley. They'll go for a corner here. Burnley looking to extend their lead as they go into halftime. Oh, and Okor is just leveled. Absolutely leveled. And they're going to get the ball. And it's going to go off, sir. Because that was, I mean, if Solomon's was a penalty, so was that. But luckily it doesn't hurt us. And it'll go for another corner. Corny sends it down. Final minutes. It's Gallo now. Gallo, can he find something? Cuts inside, has a lane. Can he beat the keeper? No. It just goes off his hand, and we will end it with a corner, which is basically just hope and pray. It's punched away. It's punched back to Zarilla. He'll just take a long strike and send it to the keeper, and we'll go into halftime down 2-1. to one. Corny chests it down here. Tries to get it wide to Rinaldi. Rinaldi now looking for Gallo as he calls for it. Gallo. Going to get into the box. Can he beat the keeper? No. Didn't have the angle and sends it wide. Solomon has it out wide here. Has Rinaldi down the wing. Rinaldi now going to try and find something. No one in the box, so he's going to take it himself. Now turns back. Has the shot. Deflected. Gallo on it and then puts in the rebound. There we go. We finally break through. And Gallo back on the score sheet. Feels like he hasn't scored in a long time, but maybe he has. I can't remember. But I know he's, he's on almost 20-plus goals, so he's having one heck of a season, getting the offense going, 
and he's in the right place at the right time this time as he finds the back of the net for Sunderland and makes it 2-2. Valet moves it up, goes to Rinaldi, who's wide, moves it along Gallo. Gallo again, going to try and drive it himself, has a chance, drops it in there with a good cross, looking for Bailey, but couldn't connect with him, and it goes out for a corner. Visnage gets it off the corner and has some space to run here. He's going to get forward with fresh legs. It's Visnage driving forward. No one in front of him. Visnage into the box here. Takes the strike and finds the back of the net. It's the 79th minute and we got a 3-2 lead. Off the corner. Burnley must have been pressed up trying to find a third goal to try and take the lead. And he gets out with space to run and there was no one in front of him. And all he had to do was beat the keeper. He does it there and makes it 3-2. to two, Sunderland on top. Vergara gets it off to Lopez who's going to drive forward now. Waiting for Rinaldi to get back on sides. He does. It's Rinaldi now. Trying to send in a good cross. Looking for Visnage. It's right there and goes over everyone's head on the rebound. No one able to connect on it. Surrounded by two defenders. He holds up. Centers it nicely to the top. It's Visnage. Back on to Solomon. Solomon with a follow-up. Couldn't break through and find another goal. And that will do it. We'll take a 3-2 victory on a late goal by Visnage. It'll be 3-2 and three big points. I mean, they got the penalty and they caught that absolute beauty of a goal. But other than that, they never really felt like they threatened us. We had 10 shots, 8 on target. And we finally break through and get the third goal and find three points. So that'll do it for us here in this one. And in the next episode, we will close out the transfer window. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like anyone's going to want our, you know, what kind of players that are left over. We got a few players retiring and a few players that are under 60, but you know, you, you were hoping, you know, maybe even a couple hundred thousand would help us out, you know, but we couldn't get it done so far. We're in the 20th of January now. We have Queens Park Rangers in the next one. We're four points out of sixth position. So we are flying high. We can maybe make a couple moves there at the end of the transfer window to bring some extra players in. But that'll do it for us here in this one. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.